past tense verbs. Learn the grammar. Mark Twain was an American writer. He lived from 1835 to 1910. He wrote many popular books and traveled across Europe and America. Was, lived, wrote, and traveled are verbs in the simple past tense. Past tense verbs often end with ed. These are called regular verbs. He lived from 1835 to 1910. Mark Twain traveled across Europe and America. Some other examples. We played volleyball after school. Lois and Meg talked for hours. But in English, there are many verbs whose past tense doesn't end with ed. These are called irregular verbs. Mark Twain was an American writer. Was is the past tense singular form of the verb to be. He wrote many popular books. Wrote is the past tense of the verb to write. Some other examples. I bought a new computer yesterday. Bought is the past tense of the verb to buy. We saw a great movie on Friday. It was about Mark Twain. Saw is the past tense of the verb to see. Simple past tense grammar rules. Negative statements and questions use the auxiliary verb do. And when do is the main verb, we use this grammar. Did do, didn't do. Negative verb forms and questions in the past tense use the auxiliary verb do. The main verb will be in the simple present tense. Negative past tense statements use did not, didn't. Mark Twain didn't go to university. Not, didn't went. The computer sale is over soon, so I didn't want to wait. Not, didn't want it. Past tense questions use did you, did he, did she, did it, etc. Did Mark Twain live in Australia? Not, did he live? Did you buy a Mac or a PC? Not, did you bought? When do is the main verb, we will use this grammar. Did do, didn't do. What did you do on Saturday? I didn't do anything. My day was boring. Learning irregular verbs. The best and only way to learn irregular verbs in their past tense is to memorize them. I have included a list of 50 common irregular verbs with some natural examples. The examples will follow some simple stories to make them easier to remember. Say, said. Yancey said she would be here by six o'clock. Make, made. I hope she gets here soon. I made reservations for 6.30 at the restaurant. Go, went. Maybe she went to the bank after work. Take, took. If she took the local streets, she will be late. The roads are always crowded around this time. Come, came. Last week she came here after work and the traffic was fine. See, saw. 
I just saw her pull into the driveway. No, knew. I knew Yancey would be here on time. Get, got. I got an email from Peter this morning. He's back from his vacation. Give, gave. Yes, he gave me a call from the airport last night when he arrived. I went there to pick him up. Find, found. The airport was so busy. I finally found him after 15 minutes of searching. Think, thought. I thought Peter would be on vacation for three weeks. Tell, told. He told me that he would only stay for 12 days. Become, became. He just became a division manager, so he can't be away from the office for too long. Show, showed. On the drive home from the airport, he showed me some photos from his trip. Note, show is an irregular verb because the past participle is shown, not showed. Other regular verbs whose past tense is ed use the same form for the past participle. Leave, left. Hawaii is so beautiful. You must have been sad when you left. Feel, felt. I felt sad every time I left the beach. Relaxing on the beach is my favorite thing to do. Put, put. Peter had to buy an extra duffel bag for all the souvenirs he bought for his staff. First, he put them in his suitcase, but then his clothes wouldn't fit. Bring brought. He is so kind. He brought back a lot of treats for his co-workers. Begin, began. After working for six hours without a break, Lisa began to get very hungry. Keep, kept. We kept telling her to relax a little, but Lisa really wants to finish the project. Hold, held. Our boss held a meeting to explain how important this project is to the company. Write, wrote. As the project manager, Lisa wrote a three-page memo detailing everyone's tasks. Stand, stood. At the meeting, Lisa stood behind our boss taking notes. Here, heard. She heard everything he said very clearly. Let, let. She works hard, so this morning I let her have the last donut in the staff break room. Mean, meant. Sorry, I meant to say Danish, not donut. Meet, met. After the meeting, the team met at a local restaurant to have dinner together. Set, set. The whole project team was at the restaurant. The staff set the table for 18 people. It was a big table. Run, ran. It was a big dinner, so I ran home to burn some calories. Pay, paid. It was a great dinner, and our company paid for everything. Sit, sat. Eric was very quiet during dinner. He sat in the corner and didn't say anything. Speak, spoke. Almost every member of the team spoke about their contribution to the project.
lie, lay. Three nights ago, I lay in bed thinking about what I would say at the meeting. Lead, led. It was my first time in Tokyo, so I was happy to have a guide. He led the way during our trip. Read, read. I read six books about Tokyo before my trip. Note, be careful, the spelling for the past tense is the same as the present tense, but they are pronounced differently. Present tense is pronounced read. The past tense is pronounced read. Grow, grew. No one took care of my garden while I was away, and weeds grew everywhere. Lose, lost. My favorite team lost an important game last night. I'm sad today. Fall, fell. I was so nervous watching the game, I fell off my chair. Send, sent. My friend sent me a message right after the game to tease me. He likes the other team. Build, built. I wish my local team had more support from the community. They built a new arena last summer but not enough people are coming to the games. Understand, understood. I tried to explain to my friends that it's important to support the team, but I don't think they understood why. Draw, drew. I drew a picture for my student to help explain the meaning of the new word. Break, broke. I pressed the pencil so hard that I broke it. Spend, spent. I spent the next five minutes trying to find the new pencil. Cut, cut. I reached into my desk looking for a pencil and I cut my finger on a utility knife. Rise, rose. I shouted, ouch! And my student rose from her desk to see what was wrong. Drive, drove. I didn't have any bandages, so we drove to the pharmacy to buy some. Buy, bought. I bought a big box of Band-Aids. Wear, wore. It was raining, so I wore a rain jacket to the pharmacy. Choose, chose. I chose a family-sized box. It has 50 band-aids in four different shapes.